Hi, Hiram here. Uh, the other day I did a couple of tests with my Evernews stove using titanium, the Vargo titanium pots. That was under request. One that I wanted to try was using my Espit solid fuel stove set along with the Evernew titanium. This is the stove set, stove set that looks like this. It's a pot. Inside is a solid fuel stand. For, of course for SBIT or anything else. Now what I did was there was a little cup there on the bottom on top of a cup so I ended up drilling that one out and just leaving it the way it was. It kind of looks like the Evernew will fit in there fairly well. A little short but that's what I want to see today how well it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I got a Interesting comment from Yacht Crafter. I had said I got this on eBay for fairly cheap, and Yacht Crafter said that a uh, quick look on eBay, I found this stove for 50 bucks, way over my head. I don't see any difference than one of my homemade stoves that I make from recycled cans. Am I missing anything? Well, in my mind, well, there's two things here. For going with eBay, I paid, what did I pay for this? Uh, $33.17 plus five something for shipping. I've seen these on eBay for like upwards of $70 or more. If you get it with the cross stand, it could be like $100 or something. But what I do when I go onto eBay, unless the price is good to begin with, is you always look for the low bids. This started at $29, and I was bidding against one other guy and ended up getting it for $33 plus shipping. So, you know, you just got to look. Don't go just jumping on the ones for $50 or $60 with no bids. Buy it now. Look for bid ones. You might have to wait. You might not get the first couple, but in the end you could. Let's see, what else was there? Oh, as far as homemade cans... Uh, with something like this, a titanium, or even the Trangia. I stopped making soda cans. Now, this is just me. I stopped making soda can stoves because I was lucky if I got 10, 15 burns out of them. Especially like in a situation like this, doing testing and stuff. They just didn't last. So that's why I went over to the Trangia. And now I don't know. I have to see how well this lasts, and again, I really would like to play with this in the snow because I know the Trangia works in the cold. I just want to see what will happen with this. If you want to stay with cans, I mean, yeah, um, as far as how much it costs, if you don't count your having to make them, yeah, cans, can burners are cheap. That's why you see them everywhere. I mean, look on eBay, man. There must be like a thousand people making soda can stoves. But, uh, I don't know, I don't think you're missing anything. It's just a person, whatever your personal likes are. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll get my water prepped. I'll get alcohol in here. I think I'm going to try it with the one fluid ounce again and see what it does. Now, oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. This has like an indentation on it so that it fits on the pot stand without falling off, I guess. So th there won't be as much of the heat coming up the sides. Even though there's openings here, it's pretty much just what's on the bottom that heats up the pot. But anyway, let me go get my water prepped, my alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Let me light this. Again, I was thinking while I was getting the water, what I said about the soda can stoves are, is just my opinion. So, Please, <laughs> no hate letters from all you soda can lo stove lovers. Okay, so I've got one fluid ounce of methanol in here. Looks like it's coming to a bloom. Two cups of water. Darn it, it raises so fast. 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I thought, this is nowhere near as, as fast as the uh, even the titanium cup on the cross cross uh, 
cross pot stand. I was just looking at this. Some alcohol is condensing on the cold pot and dripping down. Hopefully you'll see it there. The flames are coming out of the hole, which it never did with the uh, solid fuel. But the holes, are, the, the flames are coming out of the top holes. The room temperature now is 81 degrees, humidity 74, marked wet. Uh, cloudy out and it looks like it's about ready to rain. There goes another drip. So something like that you'd have to be careful with where you put this stove on the ground. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, the flames are going. Going, gone at 8, let's say 8.30. And temperature 180. That's disappointing. That was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. One fluid ounce of methanol uh, in 8 minutes 30 seconds only got up to 180 degrees. Very disappointing. Darn it. Now, this was a little short. The distance from the uh, outer holes to the bottom of the pot is less than three quarters of an inch. So I thought it might be a little slow that way, but I really thought it would get up to the boiling point. That was with one fluid ounce. I figure if you have to do two fluid ounces to get this to a boil, it's just not worth it. So, looks like this is the bust. I still think I'm going to have to make a short carbon fiber burner to put in here and try to use this. Hmm. Darn it. Okay, okay well, now we know what doesn't work. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.